Hi friends, what's this code? In this Kinter window, we are displaying 10 records taken from a MySQL database and we are just displaying inside a tree view. So these are all the tree view rows are there and here we have slightly changed it. So these columns and the column headers are taken dynamically based on the whatever the data returned from the MySQL table. So here in this case, you can change the number of columns based on the select query, whatever the query we write. If I change the name of the columns also this dynamically this one, this tree view also will change. We'll learn all about this. We'll start from here. This is our blank template. We are imported TTK because tree view is a part of the TTK, not TK. So we are import that. Then the our Kinter, then we have uh, declared our parent window, my underscore W. This will be using it. And uh, in some you will find it as root. This is the same as that. We are given a different name only. So now we'll start from here by just pasting the our database connection. I am just writing, uh, pasting here two line of codes. Here it is. So I am importing SQL Alchemy that uh, to connect to our MySQL database. Now here is the uh, a connection object or connection string, whatever you say. It's a my connection and this is the same name I will be using it in. I think you can see that all the tutorials we are using the same one. And here you use your user ID, here is your password and this is your database name. And the table SQL dump of the most sample student table, you can download it. It is there uh, at the link uh, is provided in the description. You can just download and create your sample table. Now this is the all about the connection. Now here because we are using my connection. So what we can do is the same is suppose we are connected to SQLite database or some other database we just this line of code will change rest entire script will remain same so i am just saving this for our understanding this is the let's see the blank window once this is how it comes here is the blank window here we'll display the records and this actually we have already discussed this part there were some few questions on this how to display multiple records and all and moreover we will add the dynamic column uh, positioning so you can change the columns and see how it reflects we'll create the record set first so i'm just giving this is the uh, forward only cursor so record set it's connect it's from the database the, we'll take the data and this one we are creating so this is equal to my connection, my connection just above at line number five, just now we had discussed this one. So this is the connection string that I will execute. So what I am executing, I will write the query inside this. So based on this query, data will be retrieved and this cursor, forward only cursor, it's a tuple also, it will be created. So let's just write the query, select query, simple select query star. It means that all the columns irrespective of, I am not specifying one by one column names. I am giving a star means collect all the columns from which table my student table is my sample table. It is already existing in the database so above the database to whom I am connecting here. The same database, you can create your own student table or any other table also. It doesn't matter because we are dynamically uh, positioning the columns and uh, rows also we'll see. So select star from student, but instead of calling all the columns, I am putting a limit here. I am giving a limit command starting from zero, just call five records. The first two five, this up to five records you collect. So that is what we are saying by the query. So now it is executed. So we got the data. Now what you will do is first, let's create the list of column headers we have. L equal to, so L1, it's a list actually I'm, I want to create with the name of the columns I'm receiving. So here it is R, <coughs> sorry, any, any variable name you can give for R in record set, record set dot keys. Now what happens, it loops through and create a list for me, this line. So this is, I will just write it here, list of column from database. Now the advantage here is, now you can just see that uh, we have a record set, we have a list of columns. Now I, I don't know what are the columns are there, so the, I can dynamically create this li list. So let's just to understand that, you can print the L1 and see what it is coming, sorry, L1. So now let's just uh, watch the console, I will just run this. Okay, console is below that, I am... Um, 
you can see here at the bottom I am running it again you can see here okay closing it the window you can see here ID name class mark gender is has come up here so this is the name of the <coughs> columns suppose I am just changing this one here instead of giving all the columns say I am saying ID name only these two now what happens dynamically this L1 value also change that will help us I'll close this you can see ID and name has come bottom leftmost corner you see that is the reason why we are using dynamic column so let's just go back to our uh, original whatever it is now this is ready so we'll start our tree view now we'll remove this print one now we'll say TRV equal to TTK this is the because we are now writing tree view so that is why we have imported TTK at the top so you can see at the first line you see so that we are using so TTK now we'll say tree view tree view and parent window is my underscore W this is a parent window select mode select mode this option I were giving browse <coughs> Now you can change it to tree also browse and tree so th this is the browse mode we have kept it this one then column columns what is the instead of giving a fixed column say ID name this thing we'll just connect it to L1 because L1 we know is our uh, list of columns so that's why we are connecting so dynamically these columns will be created for us now we'll say um, so what it will show so equal to headings heading fine now height height by default it is 10 also the, what is this height means number of rows it will display you can scroll down also by default how many what is the height of the uh, tree view so it can accommodate the rows so here we are saying 10 records you accommodate so this is excluding the header of course so the 10 rows you accommodate but by default this value is 10 also now you may ask that how can we suppose I have five records three records or 10 records or 15 records I want dynamically the size to change in that case we can manage this also we'll see in the second part we'll see that one so let's start with the value as uh, 10 so we have uh, placed our uh, uh, height as 10 now we'll connect it to our grid so we'll say trv dot grid we'll, we'll place it in our window so row equal to one there is only one so uh, then you can start from zero also it's a relative thing so column uh, y, sorry row one column also one let's keep that now what should be the pad x pad x means we are not flushing with the left edge so we are giving a 20 gap from the horizontal edges so now pad y from the top also we are giving 20 gap so that's all now this is our the tree view is placed now let's in, on this tree view there is few line of codes only okay in on this tree view let's add the headers and columns so we'll specify what the height at and width of the column should be and what should go as a header so for that instead of directly writing we'll take it dynamically because we have already l1 l1 is our list so what you have created at line number 13 above for i i is just a variable in l1 so this is from the I am looking through the list of columns actually so trv dot column now in this column I am saying I then anchor which side it should be it's let it be at the center so okay you can put it east west or anything or uh, towards the left side or right side now what should be the my column width I am giving a common column width of 70 you may ask me how why my column would be constant because this is I'm dynamically creating I don't have a choice okay you can make it more complex and find out each column width and give a assigned a specific width based on that to keep it simplicity let's first understand this then we can dynamically manage the width also now let's give the headings whatever it is so that will be inside the loop also so I will let me just come here here okay trv dot tree, tree view this is my headings what should be my headings first the name should be i because inside the list each element of the list column id name class mark gender all this of our student table is uh, one by one inside the loop we are so i will take that value and this one we are associating what should be the text of, of it text is equal to i so this whatever column i am creating this same one i am using here and the text i am giving as i so that's all this will play 
completes the layout but without the data now if we want to see it we can check it also let's see how this looks uh, select mode br ok here I have did a browse here I got an error message o w s c I got an error message at the bottom so it shows that uh, bad select mode browse must be non browse or extended so <coughs> this is how it is let's again run it here it is you can see I have the column names taken from the database from the student table and that is displayed without any data to add the data let's come down here we'll outside this loop so we'll create we'll go for one more loop for row row of data this is just a variable only in R set R set is our cursor so this is the record set we have got it here at line number 12 you can see here this is the one from here we are got it now we will loop through and one by one we'll insert it so we'll say trv or our tree view dot insert and then what it's there is no parent window and the child unit it's not a child of anything each row is a unique uh, one so we are saying and where it is to be added not at the next will be uh, below the previous one not at the above the one suppose we want it should go the first it is like one two three four like that so the fourth suppose fifth one we are adding we don't want that fifth one to go at the top in that way what happen in the reverse order it will come you can experiment by giving it zero value also okay and then what's the unique id of this so iid equal to because our row has uh, because the id column is already there so we'll say zero the first column of that that is the id value of the student in our student table so that we are specifying row zero row one is the name row zero is the id row one is the name then class mark like that you can continue now what should be the text part what it will show in our view it is zero again the id we are saying and then what we will show is values what are the values it will take values equal to now we can give we will convert this particular one row each row of data each student data into a list and then add it why we are doing like this we'll, you can see it by removing it will show but it is a cursor so the both the end brackets will be there so for that we'll say list and then we'll say row so each row we are converting to a list and then we are placing it here because otherwise it behaves like a tuple so we'll have the end brackets so that's all now let's just save this this much code only total code is this much anyway you can download the entire code here it is so up to 2021 lines so you can download the entire code is available now let's run this and see how this looks that's all you can see here five records have come up here now as we have discussed now let me just change this to 10 records what happens it, it will accommodate 10 records not a problem and this time I will change the column names ID say name then mark then actually it is class then mark class okay up to this three columns I am uh, taking you can add one more mar gender and uh, uh, mark also so based on your this thing now you see this ID name class dynamically these columns names are taken so it has no it has not because uh, there is no blank column to the right of it for the gender and all because if from the query itself we are picking up the column headers here this line l1 this is because from the query itself so dynamically this are uh, uh, these are created now you may ask me one more thing okay fine suppose I have my uh, tree view should shrink or expand based on the number of records so for that let's just reduce it to five now what we will do we will create one more list because <coughs> we, we once we, these are all forward only cursor what I can do is this height variable whatever I have fixed it as 10 what I can see let's find out the number of records are there and place it here that's all but one thing is you may say that why I am can I can write it like this also len then R set okay that will give me the one but there is a issue what happens that these are all forward only cursor and this this will give me the blank data so that for that what I will do I will create a list with that because the a again the R record set I am using it here so I, I will not change the name I will keep the same name record set equal to 
now i am saying list again record set so what happened now record set r sorry the variable r underscore set is a list for me so now this will tell me what is the uh, record set is there so this particular command this line will pick up the number of rows of uh, data or rows of rows are there in our list now it is no more a record set it's a list and that is dynamically adjusted to the height and still the bottom code will work because this is the no this will work as a list only so i am just saving let's just see how this works or we are getting any error fine you can see here this is up to it and the tree view ended at the 5 also so now let me just close this and increase this to 15 now you may ask me that if it is more than 15 yeah after 15 it has it has just stretched and the height has increased dynamically because now 15 records i may, i can accommodate and in fact you can, i can scroll up down also in fact if you would have been more suppose i would fix it as 15 the height and allow the records to be scrolled that is also possible now what happens you may ask that i want to adjust the window also yes window height also can be changed based on this you put a uh, variable that's uh, what is the height of the window and that you can we have already discussed that part in managing the geometry of the window so you can get the entire kinter window can expand also to accommodate more records on this and here you can see once you are selecting also suppose i am just moving the cursor up and down by moving my arrow keys so once i am selecting i can pick up the id of that and manage it by changing the data or delete it or anything i can do on selection of the row particular row that will some other time we'll see that one and already we had a one tutorial on that also we'll further expand it by managing the particular record that's all friend this is uh, one question was asked so how will accommodate more records though we have a already have a, a tutorial on this uh, i thought we, in introducing the dynamic columns and all will help so you can use it for any table you have some other config table also this just change the query here you just select id from the student suppose you have your own table you can just select uh, star from your table name whatever table you have and it will it will still it will work so that's all i'll just request you friends to subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon so you'll be notified as and when we add new new tutorial we frequently do that also and if you have any doubts suggestions questions put it in the comment section below so accordingly we'll add new new tutorials and change also please share this with your friends and thank you for watching